Ravens, it happens on maps one and four, but we have to show love to Optic Gaming. They went up against an improved Royal Ravens team, yep. and everybody performed, namely Pred was front. You look at the numbers here at this point in the game, Kenny's positive six, you got plus five out of Pred, Shotzi plus seven, the bodies are being shot. It was pure confidence in <laughs> JP Krez. All smiles, finally able to stand behind the boys while a match is actually happening. And he, of course, is going to be cheering this squad on moving forward. They're into the playoffs, and they just doubled up their bank account. Yeah, they're feeling extremely good. I mean, they got sub base back in the rotation, a map that they were excellent on. Got away from them a little bit at the end, and then Pred throwing up the six kills for Fellow that he dropped in that map three. Yeah, it was a pretty poor performance it out was, of Fellow, yeah. especially that map one and that map three. We expect more out of the in-game leader, Tyler Fellow. I expected more of him being one of my best friends, but hey, at least they had a sick SND. They came back. Gwyn dropped 13 kills, went on a seven kill streak, and Beans with the 1v2 to close it out. Beans clutching. They've only dropped one hard point. That was the opening game of the entire event. But since then, Optic has been Lights looking out. flawless in the respawn. And they have one man helping lead the charge. Let's take a look at our MVP this time around. Your Bravia MVP is not running the SMG by the name of Shotzi. Instead, it's Pred. Let's take a look at the guy who's flexing from the SMG to the AR when he needs to. And they're putting him on maps like Subbase, where yeah. he can pull out that third AR and kind of go off. And I just love to see the vibe and attitude coming out of Optic Gaming, especially after their COD Champs win. They're up there laughing. They're having fun. Like, when you have that kind of light-hearted atmosphere on your team and you're playing this well, you feel like the world is your oyster. You can do anything at all. And I just love to see how happy they are. Yeah, I mean, you won championships before i know how it feels when you win you come back you're so confident and there are those times where you're just like nobody can mess with us At all. on our worst day we could lose a map and we can bounce back and i think for pred the confidence has made him so much better like any gun in any situation he just knows when to pull out the sub and the ar and he's finding so much success it's coming into the pro level he was a rookie of the year he's got multiple top five finishes at champs and now a ring to go with it. Unreal. Today, he earns our Bravia MVP, the greatest player to ever come out of Australia. Yeah, unreal, man. Putting Australia on the map. We've had some players in the past, but no one quite like Pred. The kid is just different. All right, yesterday, we asked everybody to weigh in. How did you think these matches were going to go? They were always behind the Falcons. But with the Falcons out of the tournament, Clay, we got to find out. Did they give any faith to Carolina, or was this an optic slugfest that they expected to walk away with the I dunk? mean, it's optic gaming. They're the most popular team in Call of Duty Esports. I expect this fan vote to be extremely lopsided towards optic gaming. Uh, be a lot more optic gaming fans now. Yeah, we were unanimous up here. Usually when we're unanimous, bad things happen, but optic were just too good today. All right, we asked you on the stcplay.gg site, and it looks like about 80% of the folks at home had faith in optic. It's good to see though every single time we have a matchup somebody's got faith in the opponent i just gotta say i think the optic gaming fan sleep schedules are a bit messed <laughs> up usually that's 99 percent maybe they're wiping the crust out their eyes tuning in but they gotta win so they're happy if you've been watching since yesterday of course we know it was optic powering through but over on our second stage it was this carolina squad beating vegas what does that mean to our bracket now well you're gonna see a rematch after vegas was rematch. able to move past omen brooklyn they were waiting in the wings to find out who's going to drop down. When they go at it one more time for a spot in the playoffs, are you expecting the same 3-1, 3-0 series score? With how badly Carolina beat up on Legion, I kind of expect the same, but I do think that Legion's match against Omit kind of gave them a little more confidence, and they're out for some revenge now, right? So are they going to lose twice to Le or to Ravens? It's hard to